Uh, all right. So let's talk about some Machino growth factor or MGF. What the heck is this stuff? How does it work? And you know, how does it compare to other peptides in its efficiency or effectiveness in muscle mass and whatnot? All right, MGF, it stands for Machino Growth Factor. It's a peptide that's really popular in like major bodybuilding, like guys who are willing to use injections pre mid and right after workouts which means in the middle of your workout <laughs> take a needle and stab it into your freaking muscle which is a little overkill <laughs> come on who's carting their needles around in freaking the gym i mean it's one thing if you're diabetic it's another thing come on guys so nonetheless where does it come from um all right, so the biomolecule was first discovered and documented by a well-known biochemist called Goldspink. I didn't know him. It's a new one on me. It's also known as IGF-1EC. It is derived from, um, excuse me. Well, I lost my glasses, here we go. It is derived from <laughs> Damaged or worn out tissue. The peptide molecule is known to initiate repair of damaged tissues or local muscles and is released into the body after extensive training resistance exercise. However, one should note that the peptide is chemically different from commonly found IGF-1. Yes, which is not a bad thing because IGF-1 is known to cause tumors and Everybody loves tumors, just not on me, um, due to the extent of the C-terminal sequence. Now, MGF peptide review, all right, when externally injected to an active functioning rodent muscle in results in an over increase in an overall increase of 25% in muscle fiber, whereas a similar injection of IGF-1 gives 15% growth in the liver muscle over a period or the liver anti muscle I imagine they meant over a period of four months. Okay. This is a 25% increase in muscle fiber. Whereas IGF-1, it doesn't say how long the 25% increase takes in comparison to the four months of IGF-1. One should also note that MTF peptide, when applied to human subjects, has different responses from different age groups. Younger subjects respond vigorously to the peptide, whereas elderly people have been noted for having relatively slower responses. Well, they have relatively lower responses to everything. They're older. Like... Okay, um, as a result, most elderly folks have reduced capacity of muscular regeneration and growth of newer muscle tissue. I do. So, um, the action of MGF peptide can easily be dissolved into the following, or, yeah, dissolved into the following steps. Due to overloaded mechanical activities, the IGF-1 gene is released into the muscle, which is further spliced into a more responsive IGF-1EC factor, also known as MGF. The spliced IGF-1EC gene further stimulates the undamaged nuclei to produce more muscular tissue, right? This is further accompanied by the regulated protein synthesis in the muscles as well as liver due to an activation of the spliced IGF-1EC gene. It should be noted that this muscle tissue repair is primarily a part of the anabolic metabolic activity that results in localized muscular growth. All right. Now, here was my issue. <laughs> it's not running around with my insulin needles stabbing myself in the middle of workouts. It's just not cool. So we wanted to find a way that 
researchers could do research with MGF without walking around with insulin needles. So what we did is we created the MGF nasal application or oral application. Actually, um, I find it just as useful orally, if not more than nasally, just because how many nasal sprays can you use? So with personal experience here um, in doing research for my fish, frog, monkey, mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket, here's what happened is using MGF in place of straight insulin, okay? Um, what I've been able to do is maintain the pumps and maintain, if not put on more mass with a leaner body mass using the nasal spray. Now, I do not recommend that any human being ever use this. This is a research chemical not for human consumption, but what they have um, noticed in sports is MGF peptide usage and effects. MGF peptide is primarily used by athletes, sports enthusiasts, etc. And it should be taken together with another peptide supplement called LR3IGF-1. The dosage of the peptide injected varies from person to person. A standard of 100 MCGs is usually applied to the lagging muscles in, com in completing an extensive workout schedule. It should be noted that the peptide induces hypertrophy, hypertrophy in muscles, which is followed by growth of muscular tissue and damaged muscle repair. As a product, it surely represents a pinnacle of success in the application of biochemistry to the daily life training schedules and medicine. Supplementary and steroid and st supplementary steroids and dosage, according to the medical experts, MGF peptide is to be used three times a week. The product is often recommended to be stored far from sunlight and heat. There have been major concerns regarding the weight issues after extensive use of the product. It has been found that the overall weight increase isn't surprising for a peptide supplement user. In some cases, a weight gain of 4 pounds due to muscle growth has been reported. One should note that PCT steroids also act as superb accelerators to speed up tissue recovery in addition to preventing muscle loss when used alongside MGF. So that's exactly what my researcher has been noticing. I can't account directly for a four pound difference because my research animal fluctuates five pounds like day to day. He has steadily went up 20 pounds in as little as seven days. And he has maintained that without using the compounds that got him the 20 pound gains, namely HGH and insulin, because those made him so lethargic that his ass didn't want to get out of bed for two days. Not okay. So he flipped everything around and stopped with everything but the research chemicals, which have improved his quality of life, reduced his bloating and feeling like ass, and has got him an overall much better physique. You can see in the pictures, I'll try to include it in this video. Um, so that's basically what we're looking at. Now you only want to use this, like they said, about three times a week, but my research animal will administer four um, administrations orally, pre, mid, and post workout. Now, does MTF work systemically like that? Well, whenever it's bound to this magical um, compound that Trojan horses it into the bloodstream, we know that it's getting in the bloodstream. In the bloodstream, what's it going to do? It's going to go where it's most needed because where else would the body use machino growth factor? So that's going to be shuttled to the muscle once it is released from its incubation inside the delivery Trojan horse. So that is 
the logic here and the proof is in the using like or in the research so during this research the pumps were as good if not better than that of insulin and HGH the weight gain is kept stable with less water weight and less body fat or at least less bloat so um it's got to be MGF and the AOD in my research now um my research product came from newsarms.com you are welcome to go there if you're a researcher and um do some research on mgf you can use promo code seth for 15 percent off check it out see what you think let me know hit me with reviews and uh peace love y'all